Hello everybody. My name is Rusi. I've been invited, along with my neighbor's dog behind the fence there, to talk with you a little bit about percussion and alternate percussion today for the Make Music Davis Festival. Um, I have a drum here. I'm not actually really going to talk about drums so much. I'm going to talk about different instruments that you can play that are percussion instruments that you might be able to find at your own house, especially since you've been stuck in your house for a long time and maybe can't get to the music store these days. There's basically two different kinds of percussion instruments. There are tuned percussion instruments like a drum that's a membranophone. It has a membrane on the top and a membrane on the bottom. Sometimes it just has it on the top. You can hit it with a stick or you can hit it with your hands. And you can change the tone of the head by adding some pressure with your hand. And you can do that. You'll see some drummers do that when they're playing. Um, the other kind of instruments, uh, percussion instruments, are non-tuned instruments, so they don't actually play to a key. So you can tune a drum to a key, but you can't tune a tin can to a key. So what I'm going to do is I'm going <coughs> to talk to you a little bit about some different things that I found around my house uh, and around my yard that I can use for percussion instruments if I don't have a drum set at my house. Now I do have a drum set at my house and I have lots of drums. I have lots of cymbals that I use when I play music with other people. But what I want to talk about today is things that you can find around your house. So there are different things. Um, I know that uh, one of the things that uh, the Make Music Davis people were going to do were try to get some buckets out to people like this. I use buckets all the time in my garden. Here's a bucket I was using earlier today. It's full of lemon peels because I was juicing lemons out here. Look at all the bugs coming out of there. I gotta go put that in my compost when I'm done. I'm not gonna use that one as a drum today though, or a percussion instrument. I'm gonna use this one. It's a normal drum. People can play this with their hands. Or they can play it on the ground. Or they can play it on their table. And you can play it with sticks. Or you can play it with your hands. One thing that I did on mine, you see this little ridge right here? I made a ridge on here, so if I play it with a stick, I'm gonna I'm gonna not even use this real drumstick anymore because you might not have those at your house. You know what I'm gonna use on this one? Anyone know what this is? This is a knitting needle. I can make that kind of noise with it. So I'm using my hand for the side on the knitting needle, but you can also use two knitting needles like drumsticks. I'm not going to talk so much about making a, making the doing the beats. You can figure out how to do that just by listening to music that you want to play along to, and uh, just by like what I do with my kindergartners at school. We do some some knee clap, knee clap, knee clap kind of stuff. But you can just keep beat. Even if you don't want to do any instruments, you can just make music with your body. So I'm using my foot and my fingers to snap. If you don't know how to snap, it's a, now it's a great time to learn. My middle fingers and my thumbs. So my foot is doing that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Music is all math. Rhythm is all math. One, two, three, four. And then what I do is I either play in between those beats with my foot or I play with them. So you don't even have to have an instrument. All right. We talked about the bucket a little bit. Um, I know that some of you are going to get buckets. Some of you have buckets at your houses already. I want to show you a couple, uh, well, a whole bunch of other stuff that I have here. How you can use them as <clears throat> musical instruments. So, watering can. 
one thing that I try to tell everybody when they're learning how to use different kind of instruments, whether it's your a real snare drum and a real cymbal or something else that you're using as a percussion instrument, is try to figure out all the different sounds that you can get out of that one thing. So depending on what you hit it with, you hit it with your hand or you hit it with a stick, you hit it with a brush, you can get different sounds. So I'll talk about this brush in a minute. So here's a watering can. If I hold it against my body, I can mute it a little bit. It makes a chunk sound. And I have to hold it loud like this. It's more ringy. So anything that's metal is really good. You want to make sure that anything that you're using, especially if it's like pots and pans out of the kitchen, that you ask your mom and dad whether it's okay to use them, especially if you're heating them with something metal because that can mark them up. That sounds a lot different if I'm hitting it with that. And if I'm hitting it with this, so this is just a saucepan. This one I really like. This one is a, a flower pail, so it's long and skinny for putting flowers in. I use it from bringing bringing zinnias and and uh, dahlias and stuff back from my garden plot, community garden plot, in my bike trailer. one. This one's really awesome. This is a chicken feeder from our, ch our chicken coop. We don't have any chickens right now because the neighborhood raccoon came and took them away. Well, not quite took them away. Killed them one at a time and didn't even eat them. That really made me unhappy. All right, let's try out this one. Lots of different sounds. Again, you can mute it with your hand or against your body. Play it with something. Here's a screwdriver. Nice ring on that one. Here's a cookie tin. Just a cookie tin, like with had Christmas cookies in it. It's penguins that are dressed up like snowmen. This one, I don't have to worry about it. I can bang it all over the place. Doesn't matter if I make marks all over it. This is one of my favorite ones. This is from uh, Barry Yessa Brew Company, and it, it's a beer cup, and I left it on top of my car, and I drove around the corner, and it fell off my car in the middle of Pole Lane Road, and it got squished by another car. And I said, that makes a good cowbell. Again, I'm trying to figure out as many sounds as I can get on it. So if I hold it in my hand, just makes a tapping sound. If I hold my fingers away from it and don't mute it, it's more of a ringing sound. And then on the inside, I can make a noise like that. All right, oh, this one I gotta be really careful with. This is a glass vase, so I'm gonna be really careful. You have to hit it with something hard that's metal, probably, to get a good ring out of it, but don't hit it too hard, because if you do, it'll break it. All right, let's see, what else do we have here? This is a plastic orange juice pitcher. I actually use this orange juice pitcher with a lid to go pick blackberries at Pewter Creek. Let's see, I got a good sound out of this earlier. Try to get as many different sounds as I can out of these different instruments, depending on how I hit them, depending on if there's air underneath them, tilt it up and make different sounds like that. All right, let's see. Oh, here's one of my favorite ones. This one's really cool. You know what this is? This is a skateboard, but it's got grip tape on it. And I can take these little brushes. Now, these brushes are cool. These are from Evelyn's birthday party last year. And on the ends of this thing, each one of these little tubes, they're hollow. They had a little water balloon. And you screw this in on the hose, you turn the hose on, all the water balloons fill up and then you tie them off and these were left over. I got a whole bunch, but they work like brushes, like a jazz player. And the grip tape makes that sound. Your mom and dad might like this one better because it's not so noisy. 
that's another rule about playing drums in your house. You have to do it at a time when it's okay with everybody else who you're living with. All right. Oh, one thing that I've also realized that when you're first learning how to play drums and you don't want to take yourself too seriously, it always helps to wear a mask or a funny hat. And then you just kind of feel goofy and then you can just have fun. That's what this is all about. This is an old, this one is it actually says musical washboard on it, but this used to be used before we had electric washing machines and people would scrub against it, get the clothes all wet and soapy and wet and rub it against the board. But you can take some wrenches, ask your mom or dad if you can get them out of the toolbox and you can use them. Pretty fun. This one's pretty cool. This is an old cookie tray that we used to put food on and put in the chicken coop for our chickens and then it got rusty out there. So we don't use it as a cookie tray anymore. A couple months ago I decided to make a painting out of it, but I can still use it as a musical instrument too. Notice how I'm pushing down here and bending it. a different tone out of it. Depending on what I hit it with. Look at this thing. I found this when I was running with my friend Dana the other day. I think it's from one of those walking stick things that people use when they're hiking and it was broken. But it's got this big rubber ball on the end. Now it's like a mallet. cool one too. Oh, here's another cool one. This is a piece of bamboo and this has a name. I can't remember. It's like called purling or something like that. You'll have to look it up on the interwebs. But it gets that nice little ribbed part that will go good on my bucket that has this part that I made. Right, so we have lots of different kinds of musical instruments, different ways to make sounds out of them. Oh, I just bumped into this one. I forgot to show you this one. This one might be my favorite one. Do you know what this tool is? This is for going in your garden and you push this down into the soil and you roll it in a row and it digs up the soil and it makes a little furrow so you can plant seeds and then you cover it up again. Well, I found an extra one of these at the community garden and it's such hard metal that it rings really nicely. That's one of my favorite ones because it looks so cool. All right, let's see. I'm gonna take this off because sometimes you can put a percussion instrument on your head. Like a helmet. Alright, the whole idea of this is to have lots of fun. Now, now that we've talked about some different ways that you can, different things that you can find to use as instruments, different things that you can use as beaters or sticks, um, then you want to start thinking about, well, what is it do I want to play? And sometimes, you know, if you can just keep a beat, then you can keep that beat going maybe with your foot. Or you can use a metronome. Do you know what a metronome is? A metronome is a little machine that keeps the beat for you. And this one's not super loud. I'm going to make it a little bit faster. You can turn up the... Oh. Let's see. There we go. I'll make it a little bit faster. Can you hear that? Like 
that. But if you don't have one of those, you can get an app on your phone. If you have a phone or on your mom and dad's phone, get one of those. You might even have one of these from when you were really little. It's a cool little drum machine that my sons have had for years and years. We've never had to change the batteries in this. This is when my older, uh, my eldest was two and he's almost 20. And you can play along to that. Pretty cool. If I can figure out how to turn it off, then I will. Oh my goodness. All right, a little drum machine for you. All right, of course the other thing to do is to play along to your favorite music. Probably, well, if your favorite music has a good beat to it. So you wanna have something like some good disco. Do you know what disco is? Good disco is, is music that's really built for dancing to or some good hip hop or something that my friends and I would call big dumb rock like Led Zeppelin or Kiss or something like that or reggae is really good to play along to. Well one of my favorite things to do is to just get things set up and play them and make my own beats even though I'm not playing to other music. When I first got a drum set when I was 12 years old I didn't play with anybody else and I didn't play along to any other music for about three years. That was really fun. All I did was just set my drums up and make a lot of noise. And that's what I'm going to do now. Set all these things up here. And I'm just going to make some noise for a little while and then we'll say goodbye. So remember a few things. Uh, there's lots of uh, stuff that is at your house that you can make good sounds with by hitting it with your hands or hitting it with different beaters or sticks. Make sure that you're not beating on anything that you're messing up that your mom and dad are going to be mad about. Uh, have fun. Do it at a time when you're not keeping anybody awake or making your neighbors mad. And really, it's a really fun thing to do when you do it all together in your family or with your friends all together. But sometimes you just got to do it by yourself, and that's okay too. All right. Thank you very much for making music. Davis, I think it's called. Everybody have a wonderful time. Let's see. I'm going to use some of my favorite beaters here. All right. Nice to see you, everybody.